Hello everyone, welcome to a new series of lecture. In this lecture, we will learn about Apache Beam. Okay, so some of you have uh, built different kind of batch and streaming pipeline. So with the uh, Apache Beam, you can actually easily create both batch and streaming pipeline. So while you are creating an ETL pipeline, you need a source and a sync. So you can actually read from different source like uh, Google Cloud Storage, Kafka, PubSub, and you can write into a different place like BigQuery or Mongo or whatever, right? So Apache Beam is a framework what uh, which, which supports multiple languages. So we can see it here like Python, Java, Go, Scala, SQL, right? And you can actually use different kind of runner. So you can see Flink's runner, Spark runner. Dataflow, Samza, and others are here. But in this series, we will be focusing on Java and Dataflow. So in this series, we will actually uh, write uh, the pipeline using Java language and deploy it into Google Cloud Platform into Dataflow. The goal of this tutorial series is to make very simple application, but to focus on Java and data flow because I have seen there are actually several example and tutorial where they actually build the same application and configure it to run for different runner but at the end it becomes so clumsy and I don't like their POM file uh, so that's why what I'm trying to do I'm trying to build a very lean boilerplate code which is only focused on Java and uh, data flow the sample application will just read a file from a google storage and write a file into another google storage and and the ETL pipeline is going to run into the data flow service in gcp which is built by java only i'm gonna use github to store all of my source code so you will find all of my source code under this repository uh, the link is github.com slash crosscut data and the repository name is apache dash beam dash data flow so the way you should browse this repository is like uh, every key milestone i will put it under a feature branch right now you can see this is the main branch and if you expand it you can see this is actually what my ultimate goal is to actually use a text IO to do the read and write. So this branch will contain everything up to that. And then I will work on another key feature. And then that will be a separate branch. But the main branch will always contain up to date code. So if you want to learn gradually, I would request you to actually go branch by branch because then you will actually have small amount of code change and it would be easy to understand. So before starting to go through the code, we need to actually do some setup. So as a setup, I'm going to do the code in a Windows 10 machine. So if you are using any other operating system like Linux or Mac, you have to figure out uh, the installation and other configuration for this environment by yourself. So I'm expecting you're going to have the Java or JDK installed on your machine, which should be at least version 11. You will have Maven. I'm going to use version number 3.6.3 .3. you can use this one on later I'm gonna use the ID Eclipse but feel free to use other ID like IntelliJ or NetBeans or whatever you wanna use we're gonna use github desktop which we will use to actually clone the repository and maintain the code and at the end we will also install gcloud CLI which is gonna be the tool to interact with the Google Cloud from our local machine. 